little bit about myself. Austin Cooper, personal trainer, and in Branches of Lake Highlands, family YMCA. So typically what I do is I take the equipment and get the course prepared between 5 and 6 p.m. I'm stationary, um, get the tires, get the box shops, the bands, get everything prepared before the class starts, before students arrive, so that way everything's prepared. I'll write down basically a list of the exercises, the warm-ups, everything you do, job to you really would do that day. So what I do first is I'll assist what exercise that we're supposed to do that day, and then I'll modify it either with dumbbells, barbells, or with kettlebells and changes direction by lessening the weight and then by incorporating bands or let's say we're using TRXs to lighten the strain of stress on, on their muscles and the activity that they're doing. That way they still can push as hard as they need to without getting injured or risk of injury. So before I start them in the activity, what I'll do is make sure that they're in a space that they won't hurt themselves. So let's say they're about three or four inches away from a window or from a door or somewhere where they can get the risk of getting hurt. And I also would guide them through the exercise and basically baby them and feed them throughout their whole exercise individually and collectively as a group. If I see that someone's struggling, I'll motivate them. Say, hey, you got one more rep or you got one more set, keep going. You're almost to the end, and I'll motivate them through the process, encourage them all the way through. And of course, those that are leading the team or able to lead the group during that day, I have them lead the group and also to motivate their peers as well. So that way there's still some structure, but also some guidance. So that way they can see that they both work collectively. So my primary goal is to basically coordinate, motivate, and develop the youth and prepare them for game situations in season and out of season. Um, I have one student in particular, his name is Paul Wimberly from the Wimberly family. He's 12 years old. He started off as the athlete in my regular individual personal training group and then he moved over to athletes in training and he's still with the same peers that he actually played basketball with. Ended up increasing his box jump from a a 30 cm or almost over three feet, and now he's doing 36, which is more than more than a six foot, almost five foot person is able to jump at that age range. And I definitely see more progression as he's able to lead the group and grow and develop in his strength as well as his agility and strength to become one of the leader leaders in the group. I have seen a lot of progress. I don't even the smallest guy that's probably two inches lower than Paul, and as well as one athlete that has, has been able to make, let's say, a couple leaps on the box drop, but still see progress to more repetitions that he do, so that way he makes up for the time that he lost, say it's for the box drops, or even doing pull-ups to keep up with his paintings. So I see a lot of that in uh, this family group that I'm facilitating.